Hello friends and welcome back. In this lecture, we want to solve another exercise on loops. And this is the exercise. We want to write a program which reads a positive number n from the user, then indicates if n is a prime number or not. So what is a prime number? n is a prime number if its divisors are only 1 and n, okay? So let me show you some examples. The number 3 and 5 and 7 are prime numbers. Because the divisors of 3 are only 1 and 3, the divisors of 5 are only 1 and 5, and the divisors of 7 are only 1 and 7, okay? Another example, 10 and 15 are not prime numbers. For example, the number 10 has divisors other than 1 and 10. For example, 5 is a divisor for 10, right? The same goes for the number 15. It has divisors other than 1 and 15. For example, 3 is a divisor for 15, right? So our program should take a number from the user and indicate if this number is a prime number or not. Pause the video and try to solve it. So we are going to solve this exercise in two ways. So this is the first way. So as you can see, the divisors of a prime number are only 1 and n. So if n is a prime number, this means that the sum of its divisors is 1 plus n, right? Or in other words, the sum of the strict divisors should be equal to 1. So to find if n is a prime number or not, we will calculate the sum of its strict divisors. If the sum is equal to 1, then n is a prime number. If the sum is not equal to 1, then n will not be a prime number. So let's go to IntelliJ. So this is the exercise that we had before. Over here we are calculating the sum of the strict divisors, right? And we are storing them in the variable sum. So we know that 1 is a divisor for every number. And we don't have a problem with the number 1. We have a problem if we find a divisor that is different than 1 and different than n, right? And over here we are iterating over the possible strict divisors. If we find at least one divisor, this over here will be executed. So we are going to add i to the variable sum. So the variable sum will no longer be equal to 1, right? So over here what we can say? We will test if the variable sum is equal to 1. If this is true, then the number is a prime number. If this is not true, then the number is not a prime number. Alright, let's try the program. So let's try 7 for example. 7 is a prime number and as you can see we have prime. Run the program again and let's try with the number 5. Also 5 is a prime number. Now let's try the number 15 for example. And as you can see 15 is not a prime number. Another example, the number 10 is also not a prime number. So our program is working. Now let's see the second solution. So we are going to iterate over all the possible divisors except 1 and n. And each time, we are going to test if i is a divisor of n. And of course, i is the variable that we are going to use inside the loop. So if i is a divisor of n, then n is not prime. So if you find at least one divisor of n other than 1 and n, immediately we can say that n is not a prime number. And finally, n is a prime number if no divisors were found. So let's go to IntelliJ and implement this solution. So in this solution, we don't need the sum, right? So I will remove this statement and also this statement. Now in this loop, we are iterating over all the possible divisors other than 1 and n. And in each iteration, we are testing if i is a divisor of n, right? So if this condition is true, immediately we know that n is not a prime number because we found a divisor other than 1 and n. And what's important over here is that we are starting our iteration from 2 up until n over 2. So we are not iterating over n and we are not iterating over 1, okay? So whenever this condition is true, we can say that n is not a prime number. So for example, let's print over here, not prime, okay? But now let me tell you this. Suppose that the number we are working with has the three divisors other than 1 and n. So this condition over here will be true three times. So we are going to print not prime three times, right? But we only need to print it once. And we only need to find one divisor in order to say that n is not a prime number. So look what I'm going to do. First of all, I'm going to remove this statement and I'm going to add some braces for the if statement. And after that, I'm going to print that this number is not a prime number and then I will break out from the loop. So even if this break statement is inside the if statement, it takes me out of the loop, okay? So when we find the first divisor other than 1 and n, we are going to say that n is not a prime number and after that, we will stop iterating because we don't need to keep iterating, okay? Now, what if n is a prime number? This means that this condition is always false, right? So these two statements will never be executed. And at some point, this condition will be false and will exit the loop, right? 
So if n is a prime number, we will reach this point over here. And also, as you can see, even if n is not a prime number, we are breaking out from the loop. So in both cases, we are reaching this point. So over here, if n is also not a prime number, we are reaching this point. So over here, we need a way to know if this block of code was executed or not. If it was executed, this means that n is not a prime number. And if it wasn't executed, this means that n is a prime number. So to do this, we are going to use a boolean variable. So let's say boolean is prime. Okay, so first of all, we are going to suppose that our variable n is a prime number. So I'm initializing is a prime to be true. Now over here, I'm going to remove this statement, all right? And inside the if statement, I'm going to set is a prime to be equal to false. So what's happening exactly? We are supposing that n is a prime number. And if at some point we found a divisor other than 1 and n, we are saying that n is not a prime number. We are setting is a prime to be false, all right? So using this variable, we can know that if this block of code was executed or not. Because at this point over here, if is prime is equal to true, this means that this block of code was not executed. And if is prime was equal to false, this means that this block of code was executed. So now over here, we can know that if n is a prime or not. So I'm going to print the condition is is a prime. So if this is true, I'm going to print prime. And if this is not true, I will print not prime. All right. So run the program and let's try 7 for example. So as you can see, 7 is a prime number. Another example, let's try 25, press enter. And as you can see, 25 is not a prime number. So obviously this solution is more complex than the previous one, but it was important to show you this solution to give you an idea on how we can use a Boolean variable to perform some logic such as this one over here. All right. And later on, you will find yourself doing this very often. So this is it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.